Christ is on the cross. But to facilitate this process, it is important that the Foundry establish a comprehensive portfolio of qualified design service providers to ensure compatibility of the outsourced IP with the Foundry process technology. In this way, the Foundry can also play an important role in reducing design complexity and time scale by referring designers to service providers with the expertise to quickly resolve issues. This chart, in addition to the process technology that the Foundry's follow, please get back to. This chart, in addition to process technology that the Foundry has been providing, makes up a platform. And that is what the Foundries are providing. Increasingly, we see our role as not just providing FAP services, but as providing this platform. We at TSMC call this the Open Innovations Platform. Next slide, please. This discussion highlights the increasing importance of services provided by the Foundry in ensuring successful design and production and production ramp up. Most importantly, we believe that the critical factor in future Foundry success will be the ability of the Foundry to create deeper and broader relationships with each of its customers. The role of the Foundry in this relationship is to nurture an environment where customers come to consider the Foundry as they would their own technology development and manufacturing organization, and where the Foundry and the customer teams are inseparably linked at all stages of the product cycle. We can express this concept simply by saying that ideally, the customer should view the Foundry as its own technology team and its own fab, but better. The ability to form such relationships with customers will be a key to differentiation of services between Foundry suppliers. This new type of relationship between the Foundry and its customer is different from previous Foundry customer relationship, in that both design and technology engineering proceed concurrently from the earliest stage of the customer's product development effort. It is imperative that an in-depth understanding of both product and process requirements be developed as early as possible by both the foundry and its customer to ensure a successful production ramp-up and product introduction with less time needed for product development. The level of information flow required for successful product introduction and volume ramp up must, be, must go much further, well beyond provisions of the layout rules and spice model files traditionally supplied by the founder, particularly for designers at the most advanced process technology nodes. A high level of mutual trust must be reached for this engagement to be successful and protection of proprietary information must be assured for both parties. Because of their multiple customer relationships, particularly where customers compete within the same market segment, foundry companies need to create secure firewalls within their organization to protect each customer's proprietary information. Next slide, please. We believe that deeper, broader, Foundry customer relationships offer significant advantages to Foundry customers. First, early in-depth engagement allows the Foundry to fully understand customer requirements for cost, power consumption, performance, and quality, and to integrate these requirements into the Foundry process technology. Secondly, in developing a strong relationship with Foundry, Customers can be assured of support for wafer capacity requirements and cycle time totals. 
Thirdly, customers can access the advanced design environment, including library tools and data analysis capabilities available at the foundry to reduce design time, and to support resolution of complex design and manufacturing needs or quality issues. Finally, foundries can provide a full vertically integrated technology offering, incorporating the facility design environment, waiver production, and back-end assembly and testing of the finished product. To assure customers of successful product development and overall faster time to market for their products. That is the platform that I mentioned a while ago. Next slide. Foundries must focus on cost reduction with the objective of sharing the cost savings with customers. The next two charts indicate the costs associated with the technology scaling. PSMC's relative R&D costs associated with the technology nodes between 0.25 micron and 32 nanometers have increased by, by over a factor of 10. If, if, if the R&D cost for 32 nanometers is going to cost 10 times uh, R&D cost for the 0.25 generation. Next slide. Moreover, the cost of a manufacturing facility has also escalated quickly and is likely to be close to 5 billion US dollars for the 32 nanometer mode. For fabrication at an economically competitive scale, reduced manufacturing costs can be realized through a larger scale of manufacturing, closer partnerships with customers, implementation of state of art information technology and use of automation systems in manufacturing facilities, along with collaboration with the equipment suppliers to, sub to improve tool performance and efficiency. The transition to 300 millimeters has been significant, has significantly 